Hello guys and welcome back to Watch Dogs Legion. Now, last time what we did is we actually got rid of Sky Larson and um, took her of Bloom, as it were. So now we're moving on to another fret, which I believe is S I R S R S I R S. Sorry, I believe. Anyway, we've got a briefing here with Bagley. organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Wasn't fooled back then, and I'm still not now. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. What is? We found one. His name? Hamish Balaji. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. All right. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Good for him. Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. But Largy is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. All right. That's our next mission then, is it? It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Alright then. Over there. There's a few people who were close. There are a few people who were close, but I think it'd just be quicker if we fast travelled here. To get there. Just makes it a bit quicker, huh? don't it? I'm getting out of here. Just makes it a bit quicker, don't it? Any of these guys are useful? Because I can just recruit these guys straight away. Not really. Not really. Taking this. Taking this mini. Going down on oncoming traffic. Will it be right? Will it be right? Nice read. Malaji has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course. But I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Right. Right. Hello. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Bit paranoid, I'd say. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the True. local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Yep, yep. True, that is what I be. Alright. Gonna need to find a way up there then. That's what we're going to need to do. So... Let's have a look around. I believe the main interface is on what the top. fuck? I see some windows up there we can use to get in. Sure, if you can get there. I don't. Here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Will do. What? Give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person? Nah, that's boring. Nah, that's fucking boring, that might. What fucking window washing platform? It's full of shit. 
Right, let me change to um, wrench, just because I can call in Sergey the custom drone, as it were. Thanks. Ready when you are, Bagley. I need a bigger drone. Okay, there we are. Okay, here we are. Still got it. Still got it. Right, let me hack into this, yeah? Hey, Miss Bellagio, there we are. Holy shit. Booby traps here to murder Joe Pesci. You could force the trap to unlock by rewiring the power. I got this. Right, let's have a look. Um Okay, let's have a look. Nice. Um. Wait, wait a fucking second. No, wait, I was right. I was right as I was. Like that. Right. Did it. Awesome. Sweet. Hey, look at that. Assassin's Creed. Oh my God! It's almost like Ubisoft also make Assassin's Creed. Right, let's go up here. Do 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 <laughs> hey, would you would you listen for one second? Albion knows you're in London. You need to run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. Oh, we know. Why else would I be out here risking my delicate backside? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is pain. That's how fucking Merck's work. Listen, dude. You hate Cass, we hate Cass. He tried to kill us, he's trying to kill you. Let's work together. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what- Move, move, oh, move! fuck! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amish, think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. Found him! No! <laughs> shit. Uh, 
That's a lot of them. That's a lot of them. Right, go. Holy fucking shit. Right, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Look at hell. <laughs> Fucking hell, they're everywhere. Right, we need a car. They're all fucked. That one's not so bad. Fuck. Come on. Carried on. All right, we're in the clear. Let's put out an APW. We're getting nowhere here. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right. Mission started inside Albion. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I Thank you. you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something. And I don't think I could stop him on my own. If Dead Six everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every mm. place we go into, he... We... Would have some mad plan to fix all these problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizer or some shit. Society was a technical problem, and people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I've got to switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. He says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be in cybersecurity sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. All right. All right then. A retired officer, a former maritime special forces. Okay, let's actually have a look at that. Let's actually have a look at that operative. Could be useful. Huh? Is that Clan Kelly? Or is that? Yeah, it's Clan Kelly. Can already tell just from the graffiti and stuff. Oh, Charles Lee. Hey, look at that. That's two Charles Lees I've taken out this week. Took out Charles Lee in Assassin's Creed 3 and I've just took out Charles Lee in Watch Dogs Legion. Ah, you fucker. Oh, he's got his gun out. One minute. Yep. Back. Up. 
Put the fucking gun down. Put it fucking down. Well, I'll put you down, you bitch. Guess again. Fuck off. Have it. Good night. Go to sleep. He's a big fucker, isn't he, behind me? Brendan Toda. Have it. No bed. Fuck off. Alright. AW imports. That's interesting. That's interesting. Arthur Kozak, Corporal. Hey, unfortunately, mate, you're not that good. That's a shame. That's a shame. Right, neutralise Scout inside Tower London. Now, to make this easier, I might switch over to... What's, what's his name? Is it some something money penny? Because he is actually an Albion captain, so he can sneak in. Promoter. Serial entrepreneur. Oh, hiccup him. Sorry. I wonder if there's a spy over here. No, there isn't. Usually there is. Actually. No. Sometimes there's a car here and there's a spy stood next to it. Sometimes. Sometimes there is. Internet celebrity. I think this is, yeah, I think we do need the Alb, I think this is actually one where you do need an Albion employee. I think it is actually part of the mission things. Where is he? Paul Moneypenny, there he is. There he is. You can just walk right in and walk back out. So just put the uniform back there. So just put the uniform access on, just to get us in nice and easy without much fuss. Without much fuss. There we are. Uh, uniformed access is telling me how it works. I know how uniformed access works. Looking sharp. Your ex colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. Can I disable that? No, I can't. Right. That's the best I can do, is it? We got some tech points there, I might as well grab them while I'm here. While I'm in the area. I'll have those. Thank you very much. There's Renee O'Sullivan, Guardian Tower London. There we are. That's for the borrow. That alarm's just gone off. Wonder why. Sounded like a car alarm, though, didn't it? Georgina Jacal and she is on to me. Fuck. Come on. Right. Now, hopefully, that's enough. Listen here. I'm going to tell you something. 
between you and me. Completely off the record, yeah? The whole thing look at some more of these. Um... Got good reason to close off parts of the building, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of bollocks. This place is a Ed Cabral. P9 and APGL. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's just go inside. Let's just go inside. I knew recruiting Paul early on would actually come to help me at some point. Look at that, suit of armour. Now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former Richard colleagues Morgan. this operation is a bust. Jeremy Fashi, police contract. Shorter team arrest time. Yes. I was Albion too. If you hadn't tweaked to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Oh, for yeah. God's sake. Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. Robert King, I'll be employee. What a fucking name that is, Robert King. <laughs> Alright, what's up here? Ferguson Campbell. Everyone here is physically fit. Desmond Braithwaite. This door clearly requires a security pass. Fucking great. Use one of the nearby computers flight. to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. Just checking them all, because you never know, do you? God damn it. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. God damn it. Try that again. I don't know why they were still following me. Not really something they usually do. These guys have changed. Urine price. Brad Dimitrov. No, 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 no. This new project is directed at the Oh, for fuck's sake. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Right, I've got an idea, actually. I have an idea, actually. Whether or not this works, a different bloody story. If we go down here, oh, I don't. Right, I need to wait for the distract. Don't actually have it yet. Mickey Swan. I distract him with his phone. What the hell is this? And then we'll go this way around. Journalist. Gon Wu Lee. Hiccups. Alerts nearby enemies. Right. Forward. Forward. Right, up we go. Right, here we are. They better not be justified. This door clearly requires a security pass. Zion Griffiths. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. Right. Hack this. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cass Senior's death. 
Show me. Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame, and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, Pops this is down, unfortunately. Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company, but I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close well, this he. file. Interesting. Hey, almost makes you pity him. Oh wait, no it doesn't, he's a dickhead. Can't believe that's who's supposed to be secure in London. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Then huh. go anyway. Michael Cass awaits. Alright, he's gonna come back in here, that guard, so I'm gonna head round. There we are. Alright. Distract him so I can get up here. Distract him. Ah, there we are. Made it. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. I promise you. With the launch of Project Temis, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> no, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must. the human element that got us into this no more debate delay indecision understand this I will not allow anyone not even myself to jeopardize Themis now will our friends at Tidus be ready you are the cornerstone of the project, after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh... No. We'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets. Illegals threatening our families. The police commissioner himself. Assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard. But here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Hmm. Interesting.
the police commissioner himself assassinated by terrorists. Is he going to pin that one on DedSec too? Fuck's sake. About that forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. Bagley, need an exit protocol. The catacombs, fam. Catacombs. Very nice. Fuck it, it's gonna evolve into a shootout anyway. I might as well get fucking started. You know what I mean? Might as well get this shit going. Shit. Demolitions experts, both dead. It's quite good, the P308. I know it's only a semi-automatic semi rifle, but it's quite good. Come on, Andy. Sit your head out, mate. Alright. Get the fuck out of here. He's fucking crazy. I doubt a secret project run by a megalomaniac like him means anything good for London. Alright, now I'll run the catacombs. It's a bit of a maze down here. And it's designed that way to try and scare you. Also, this statue here of Queen Victoria. Um, it moves. It moves. I believe. So if we come in through here, it should be looking at us. Yep, there you go. And if we come in through this side, it'll be looking at us again. Yep. Cool, isn't it? What? Not even a tick. Right. Is that the exit? No. I've just done a fucking loop, haven't I? Right, so we need to get in there, I think. But I can't remember how the fuck we get in there. Hey, Vic. Oh, wait. I don't like this at all, man. That did something. All right, Paul. We'll be all right. I don't know where the fuck. Well, it opened something. Did it open that, or was that already open? Oh wait. It's even worse. The fuck's this? What the fuck was Yeah, uh, made it. Made it. is an automated killing machine and it looks like Cass is almost ready to launch we have to get Themis cool. out of his hands I'll prepare a briefing will we see you there Hamish 
pretty face, not risking, remember? But patch me in. You and me got some scheming to do, Bagley. Interesting. How you doing? Do you remember me? Oh, I was that. I thought that said one of them was a potential um, old victim, is I mean? Four days should out was Shine, but it we ain't. Bell hop. CEO. Alright. So, back to the HQ. Back to the HQ. Let's go. Time for another briefing. I'll start the briefing whenever you're ready. Alright. I'm on my way. Alright, let's have a listen. What have you got for me, Bag? What have you got for me, Bag Lee? Here's what we know about Nigel Cass. He's rolling out something called Project Themis. The lack of information on its own is worrisome. But what little we do know is Cass wishes to remove the human element from law enforcement. We also know he's partnered with Titus, which is never good. Titus does other work with Valvian. Nasty shit like autonomous weapons, human targeting algorithms. So Tidus is our best lead to fill in the blanks on the secret project, but their security is notoriously difficult to crack, so Hamish has proposed an intriguing solution. Wasn't Tidus the people who made the spider bot in Watch Dogs 2? That shit's not even in production yet, but if we get the plans, we can manufacture our own. To bypass Tidus security? Exactly, exactly. They're weird as fuck. Supposed to do maintenance on Albion's other drones, but the smallness of them means they can slip into places nothing else can. Well, there we have it. Our next step is to infiltrate the Albion drone manufacturing lab and get our hands on schematics. And then you lot will have a fun little gadget to break in the Titus. Love it. I'll shoot you the location. Be careful. Albion doesn't like to share his toys. All right then. Well, that's our next thing. So where's that at? Up here. In Whitechapel. I don't actually have... Um, anyone over there, unfortunately. Well, there is that. Which will do, I guess. There is this. Right, where are we going? Oh. Who's beating who up? Oh. There you go. You are saved. Move. Yep. Yep. Hey, DJ. Oh no, it's not a DJ. Dress like one though. Dress like one though. Right, where are we going? Where are we going? Gotta be nearly there now, surely it wasn't that far. It wasn't that far, was it? Ah, here we are. This is it. Oh, I can enter with the... The Albion disguise, let's do that. Uh -huh. You're coming up on the Albion drone facility where the micro drone is being developed. This better be worth it. It will be. You're going to oh, need shit. to disable the security system, protecting the R&D lab. Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
Hurry up. Smash in. Right. Up here we go. And this should be what we're looking for up here. God damn it. Need backup. Come on. That's one way to take out the competition. Our prospect should be quite pleased by that. Former rival of Jeremy. All right. That oh, was lucky. Oh fuck. Oh yeah. That was some terrible accuracy. No, that's not what I wanted you to do. There we go. Alright, do this. Come on. There we go. Right, loaded. We're all loaded. Ah, downloaded the blueprints. Downloaded blueprints the downloaded. Like. Don't put me in the fucking news. Oh shit. But these can't are terrorist drones, by the way, guys. What you need to do is when they do that, there with a reloading, sh that's when you shoot them. Because that's when they've got weak points. Otherwise, you just might as well throw your fucking gun at them. Do more damage. Pepper grenade? What are these do? Huh. Well. Well, that's dumb. Didn't even notice that these were on the table here. I'll grab those. I'll grab those. Can get this as well by doing that. Prototype optic. All right. Fucking hell! A combat drone is on me. A combat drone is on me. Is it? Yeah. Let's get in this and get the fuck out of here. Get in this Ranger over. There we are. before Nigel decides to launch. And with what he was saying, we don't have much time. No, it doesn't sound like we have much time, does it? So where are we going exactly? Down there? In the belly of the beast. We don't actually have anyone close there, do we? Oh, Frederick King, there we go. And he's a spy too, which should make this a bit easier with doing the old sneaking. If you're not doing anything important, you've been activated. I got you. Okay. Let's get my car. I've 
Renegade Judge found. Arranged arms escorts. Arranges armed escorts to dangerous locales. I might have to have a look at that. Because that's quite interesting. Not now, obviously. I'll have a look in a, in, in a bit when I've done this mission. I love the Jaguar E-Type. Just such a nice, elegant car. I think, Enzo, I think Enzo Ferrari actually spoke very highly of the Jaguar E-Type when it came out as well. He said it was one of the most beautiful cars he's ever seen. And that coming from Enzo Ferrari is very... Um, is very high praise. That's like Hideo Kojima saying you've made a very good video game. You know what I mean? Is this it? This is the place. Let's go around me, mate. You are a shite driver. You are terrible. Greek mythology. Themis was the goddess of divine justice. You know, the one with the sword. Ooh, that is so Nigel fucking cuss. See? School's useful for something besides social maladjustment. Find the schematics of the building and I'll work out the location of the Themis project. No. Trying to figure out who's worth shooting and who isn't. They're just, you're just the groundskeeper. You're fine. You're not going to get a bullet today, mate. However, anyone wearing Albion colours is. Anyone wearing those Albion colours? They're getting more than a bullet. IT specialist. Download that. This Lindsay King. A lot of people with the surname King, isn't there? Look, you have two options. You can do your job, or you can lose your job. Pick one. Okay, now. Uh, there's an access point for this somewhere. Ah, there it is. What did she just say? I heard three people speak at once. Right, we're going to need to find a way to get higher. Ah. Very love. I'm on to it. Well, if I was hiding a top secret morally dubious drone project like Themis, oh, for fuck's sake. You will have to hack your way past some pretty serious security, however. Of course, I will. The elevator that leads to the secure vault that houses Themis is locked down. You will have to access the bypass terminal to use it. You will require a spider bot. Where'd he go on? Got a f got one that can sprint and fucking cloak as well. Up max upgrade the spider bot guys. Honestly, it's so useful. Right, where are these tech part points anyway? They in there? I know they're just chilling out here. What do you know? What do you know? Ah, oh, right. That's what we need the spider bot for.
Well, yeah, elevator has been unlocked. Get a move on. Alright, come on, Fred. Let's get down here. Do 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 do. If you know what the spy watch does, by the way, guys, it jams all enemies' weapons. It's what I used on that fellow with a shotgun a minute ago. Pretty sure if you shoot the hand as well, the gun explodes. Hmm. You'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the micro drones to bypass security. <laughs> Sebastian. He's fucking called it. He's given it a name. Oh, nice. Nigel Cass audio file. What do you know? Oh, shit. Fuck! Speed run? Look at that! This is all right, Sebastian. This is what you and your friend have been training for. Time to crash the security grid for Daddy. There we go. All right, let us see these micro drones in action. That's the spirit. Should be pretty sick. Awesome. Look at that. Okay. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. This way. I don't think I have to open both of them, just one will be enough, right? Woo! Very hot in there. from the beginning though. Come on, cool down. There we go. Right. Fucking plan. Nah. No, wrong side. There we are. Hello. Right. What exactly are we looking for here? Beam, Ow, ow, Beam. That's on fire. That is on fire. That is also on fire. Oh, 
Ooh, that was close. That was close, fam. Right. And I'll follow this around. It's almost like they prepared this just in case a small, tiny drone named Sebastian needed to come through here. Level design. Level design. That's what we like. We like level design. This way. This way. Oh shit. That was close. That was very close. It could have gone then. I'm just trying to have a look. They're activating behind me. Gotta be quick about it. Beam. There we go. Hell yeah. You've made your father very proud, Sebastian. Oh, right. You should be able to access the Themis project room now. Let's ruin Nigel's fucking day. Let's have a look. London. Once a beacon of civility, now a cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Welcome to Project Themis. Albion has found a way to apply an existing system, life score, a data... Look how fucking big I am. Tricks, ...personal information to our new autonomous drones. <sighs> These drones can identify, isolate and terminate threats before... We've heard this already. They Played this at the um, meeting, didn't they? ...see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds. With perfect precision. Fucking hell, they're bigger than me. Themis drones. Looks like we're hunting giants. Have always struggled to act immediately and decisively. Are uh, we done now? Jesus. So in theory, Themis could be programmed to target anyone based on any number of parameters. Exactly. That's the way Cass thinks. Genius, but twisted. We have to stop this. And I know how. We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. Oh, fuck me. All right. All right. Erase the Themis files. Are more people gonna come down here? No, nope. not it's yet. Done. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. Get out now. Hmm. Right, let's go. Get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here.
Oh, we did it. Nice, look at that. This may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. Okay. No, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world. And this group of... And Hamish fucking Bellagi? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. Someone help them, that's certain, and we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. Cass is gonna steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. It was a team effort. Big up to all of us. But we still have a lot more to do. If we're gonna finish off Cass for good, we can use some help. Ah, uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days at Albion ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of zero day. Remember that? Completely gutted Dinsec 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings. So we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. Adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks. We know <laughs> that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit oh, yeah. human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi Fi's down or something. Is that relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke or you just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. There's a poem. Fantastic. That's it for Albion's Great. automated armored car assembly. Should kick this whole uprising into high gear. A bit more of that, and this barrel will internally combust. No? Nothing on that? Well, I guess it's back to knock jokes then. Oh, there we are. Retired officer. Scientist. Yeah, I want to have a look at this renegade judge. It's, it's interested me, that one. It's piqued my interest. And I want to go have a look at that. Well, let's go. But I think our next main mission will be another briefing. So we'll have a look at this judge because I'm curious. And then I'll see where the next main mission is. Well, I mean, you're better than the other judge we have. Let's just keep, let's just bear you in mind. Because the other judge we have is, well, shit. Where is he? There he is. I mean, look. Literally, that's all he has. That's literally all he has. I don't even remember recruiting you. But welcome. <laughs> But welcome. Right, let's have a look. Where's our next main mission? Oh, there's two. 
crashing the auction and the whistleblower. Let's crash the auction. Let's have a look at that. She's selling those poor microchipped people. Let's put an end to this. Fuck, it's gone. Come here. That's not what I meant to do. It's gone. I've lost it. Right. Let's see how many tech points do I have anyway? 95! Fucking hell. Right, let's get to spending some. What can we do? Reduce damage? Yep. AR shroud. Chase drone deactivation. Chase drone hacks. Right, hack a riot drone to fight its allies. Combat spider, okay. A missile drone, a small drone that flies straight towards the target for lethal act. Electro fist, electrostatic punch that can knock out an enemy in a single blow. AR cloak, electro shock trap. MP9 dead sex with machine gun. Increase magazine, increase reloads. Okay. Hmm. Let's go for the AR shroud and we'll get that as well. That should do. Yeah. We get it. Out. To decipher the security codes. So, Bagley, what do you have? Mary Kelly is holding her sale at Hackney Barbs. Opened in 1904, it was, as the name implies, a public sanitation facility. In today's more enlightened modern times, it's a slave trading market. She mentioned foreign investors, so this is. It means associates, clients, employees, anyone remotely involved in her organization. We're taking Mary Kelly down from within. Inspector Lau wants to take her case against Mary Kelly for a contact in the Attorney General's office, which means gathering as much data as we can to make sure it has the leverage needed for them to prosecute. The microchips are a huge part of this equation that we know almost nothing about. We need something tangible about these things. See if you can find anything. Blueprints, receipts, samples. So, the plan is simple. Crash the Kelly's soiree, find out as much as we can, and, finer detail, try not to get killed. Can't be too careful of the boss team. Mary can kill all the captives with the push of a button. If we try to free them now, they're good as dead. She doesn't know we're on to her yet. That gives us the advantage. Alright. I'll keep that in mind. Who are you? You're just a journalist, but you're an Albion Hello. prisoner. Tell that. Might need that. You said it. I didn't realise this was called the Bethnal Green Albion Station. They come here, tell us how to do our job, and give in their crit. Shut up. Come on. Get out of there. That's him saved. Rescued Freedom Fighter. A safe here. Supposed to serve as an object lesson of some kind. Albion decides whether or not you have a right to a trial. Good thing you came around. I won't argue that. Put the guns away, mate. I'm just. I'm 
I'm just a very, very angry person. Right, give me that. Right. No longer in there either. Right, so let's have a look. Where's this slave auction at? Right, you're going in. Professional hitman. She will be armed to the teeth, she will. What's up, my bagsy? That's some company you keep, but I'm not sure if I should be more concerned for you or for them. Are you free? Fuck yeah. Let's get up to some shit. The way you said that, right, made it sound like she, who she was drinking with, was an absolute fucking lunatic, but she wasn't. Yeah, that's a good call. Right. Let's have a look around. Ah, hello. Playing root kit. Security camera 46, okay. I think it was 46, I didn't really read it. I'm in. Get all the names, places, dates, whatever information you can in there. We Lock Chambon. And find a way to free those people. I'll see what I can find. I know in here yet. Good thing to Former MI6 operator operator. He helped me out. Nice one, mate. Let's check it out. Chances are good the basement will be locked. Chances are equally good that one of these knobheads left their access code laying around somewhere. One of those knobheads did leave their access code laying That's around here somewhere. Sick. Right. We can't draw too much attention to ourselves because of um, what's going on upstairs so we don't really want to get this into a shootout at the moment but a scrap should be alright as long as no one fires a bullet really focused though. There we are. There we are. Oh, hello. I think I heard something. Get back. 
Ow. Love that. Love that. Oh, this is that room, wasn't it? Well, there wasn't this good many guards down here when I was on the thing, but whatever. But whatever. What do I know? I always knew fancy uptight people were fucked up. Buying heads and their organs like it's all normal. Keep your head. If we try anything before disabling the fucking ships, Mary oh. Kelly is liable to purge her inventory. This is an organ market, isn't it? Go on. Every penny, love. Must admit, I thought you were some trolls chatting shit in Mum's basement. And what do you think now? I think you're well funded. And my organisation could be implicated in something quite ghastly. I think you might have just doubled. True to your reputation. Autonomous. Unchecked. Release our shipment, and London will be yours. Oh, I know a good deal when I hear one. Fireworks are on the way. Can we stop burning yourselves now? Ah, this is the nail in her coffin. Mary Kelly supplied the explosives for the bombings. Golden and Goose is called as well. The organ market. She is done. That's an interesting turn of events. So Mary isn't Zero Day, but she's involved. I have to admit, Zero Day's plan to cover their tracks was clever, and it worked. Even I didn't suspect this, and I suspect a lot of things. Let's not lose sight of what we're doing here. We need everything on the Golden Goose for Caitlin's case. Bagley, were you able to recover any data? All this of it. Is a simple market site. I've recovered inventory lists, but not much that will help Inspector Lau's case. Bags, we need to get to the website service. We can pull the intel Caitlin's after and fry everything else. I'd love to, but the servers are rudely jumping all over the world. They're probably using a shuttle protocol or some kind of mix net. I can work it out, obviously, but it will take me a few days. Okay. What about that irritating host upstairs? He probably knows something about the servers. Good idea. Can I shoot people now? Ooh, hello. There's gunshots upstairs. Yeah. Well, what do you know? They can call reinforcements. It'll do them no good. It won't help you, money me. This cunt is relentless. <laughs> I am. Shit. 
head down here a bit, just to recuperate a little bit. Fucking hell, they're everywhere, man. Right, it's just her and me now. Just you and me. Just you and me. There we go. She fucking dead. But they're all fucking dead. Yeah, fuck that, give him Glasgow send off. There you go. <laughs> oh, get fucking ankle snapped. He's a mine now. Come on. Come on. Alright, how do we get out of here then? Probably the big door that says exit, Declan. Good. We can't just leave those servers running. We gotta shut them down. And the microchip relay too. That is how we save everyone. Next stop, NeoGate. It seems Mary hit the Golden Goose service in the heart of a cybersecurity software company. I don't condone her actions, but I must applaud the method. Wait, seriously? Can't fucking break that? Oh fuck, I run someone over. I know I didn't. Hack the camera network. Alright, I can do that. It's a bit away. We can switch, 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 switch. We can switch to Heidi when we're over there. Actually, I don't really want to switch to Heidi because this mission will probably go from. regular fight or not even a fight to a shootout so I need someone with guns is what I'm saying Marv you've got guns haven't you pretty sure Marv has guns and you're quite close so we'll go with you no we've not even we've not even switched to Marv yet I think I know who Marv is actually. I think he's the one who was like, oh, I don't remember recruiting you. Yes, yes, it is. Did I get away, driver? No, it's a nurse. Tinker a fan. Crafts devious and deadly traps. That's interesting. That is interesting. In it. Hey, no fucking need for that, is there, you prick? I feel like what this game does um, capture quite well is it captures the sheer amount of insults British people have pretty well, which I love. Because 
Because, I mean, mine fucking changes every other week. My main insult. Elizabeth Clarkson. I suggest hacking the camera network to see what's a cauldron. Let me just have a look at his weapons here. Just want to see what he has. Just a, just assault rifles. That's all he's got. All he has is assault rifles. That's fine. That's fine. Because I'm here now to shoot everybody. And I don't care how many reinforcements they call. I'm here for it. Ah, you fucker. Behind me. Awesome. Oh, it fucking closed. The bastard. God damn it. Jesus Christ, he took a lot of killing. I need her to come over here and open the door. Oh wait. Oh no. How's that? Shame. Not as deep as that fucking bullet, love. If I kill its master, will it stop? No, it does not. It was worth a shot anyway, right? It was worth a guess. Right, let me get this. Playing a root kit. And there we go, research and development. Okay. Can't see shit. These feeds are from oh, a hello. basement under the server room. Anyone up for some light entertainment? You see, it contains a chemical cocktail, botulinum, conotoxin, succinacholine. Well, before we go into specifics, if you wouldn't even understand, let's just say it took a lot of trial and error to get the mix right. Wouldn't want the killing to. Is that that girl who tried to cut the oh thing out of her head? Implant the microchips. Test them. Bagley, capture all this footage. It's all going into my case file. Here's another. I'm glad to see they're trying to keep things sterile. Don't want to risk infection. One more. At issue are the strong convulsions triggered by the microchips. And concern over the possibility of... Didn't I shoot you? Merchandise, ...the eyes being the most vulnerable. Initial findings indicate that the microcharge may be the problem. Although the damage to the lower stem is minimal, it is enough to trigger strong convulsions in the top Fuck. 34% of cases. All right, Bagley, let's move along. I can't take this. No, I'm with you there, Marv. I'm with you there, Marv, mate. There's a special place in hell for all the people involved in this operation. Yes, there is. You've got all the Golden Goose data along with this footage. Plus, you have her conspiring in the bombings. That must be enough to put Mary away. I hope so. Now, how about blowing that shit up and disabling those microchips? Brilliant. Oh, hell yeah. 
Time to put Mary Kelly's operation on ice. Let's blow some stuff up. Hell yeah. Right, how do we get in there? If we can. I don't think we can, can we? It's alright, there's a camera. Yeah, sure, right. there's a camera. Alright. Um, let's have a look. What's over here? Aha. Uh, that one. Wait. Okay, that one. Then that one. Flashed it. Tied a server as well. Not off that. Means out. Should I be running now or? you two come from all right let's get the fuck out of here clan kelly have a fucking ct drone my contact the attorney general's office right now no time to waste mary kelly is finally going down thanks shit Fucking hell. Right, gotta get out of here quick. Thank you. Thank you, Bagley. Right, let's escape the police. Well, not even the police, it's Albion, isn't it? Playing this really makes me want to play the getaway. Just a shame they never made a third game to that. Right, time to confront Mary Kelly. She's over here. We've got another uh, member over there of DeadSec. And he has guns as well, so should be fine. He's also got that AR shroud as well. Let's go. Oh, well, that was what he was doing. Is that the only gun he has? Shit. Shit. That's the only gun he has. Oh well. Oh sweet. Big game hunter, taxidermist with tranquilizer gun. Tinkerer, cross devious, okay. I'll have a look at those later. The shotgun should be enough. I'm fairly confident that I can get enough done with the shotgun. Got it. Well, that's a way in. Hmm. Okay. But it's just about getting in there. Oh, hello. Got some scaffolding here. No, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. Oh, what about the garage? It's down here. 
besides these cars. Oh, that helps. Hell yeah. Alright, let's do this shit. Locate the hidden security room. Not bad. Oh, we got it. We got the hidden security room. And Finny. Take a look at this. Come on. Bloody hell. Right. Well, at least the chips are disabled. Mary has sealed herself in her office downstairs, but the mainframe will repower the elevator. Oh, and guards are on the lookout. So, do try to survive. Wonderful. I'll try. What a fucking edible that was. Love that. Let's do this shit. Fuck, that was... That was poor from me. Come here, knobhead. Eight-legged? The spider bots only have six legs, you fucking idiot. Can't oh, you count? You fucking dick. You're not Superman. You can't fucking see through the fucking floor. Dickhead. <gasps> she had the last laugh there, didn't she? Alright, what's in here? Oh, safe. Very nice. Let's get this. Right, power up the lift. She likes Dobermans, doesn't she? You need to stay near the mainframe long enough so I can re Oh great, more are coming. Bloody chicks don't work. I'm in my office. Come exterminate the Fermi. I saw that. Oh. Oh. Fuck yeah, that was fucking cold. <laughs> you know what, the shotgun's quite good, actually. <laughs> X, um, X dead sec of Vera Cognito. Oh, you were a competitor of an X dead sec member. Shit.
Cover what help you love. I've got 12 gauge. Stick your head out. Go on. Come on. Fine. Have luck, dickhead. Right. Is that everyone? No. Of course it fucking isn't. There we are. Right, defeat Mary Kelly. There's a lot of fucking shooting. Thankfully, the lead fucking fire that I was spitting at everybody can stop now. Oh, these guys are gone. Come on then. I don't need no fucking microchip to gut you filthy bastards. Oh. <laughs> Is it? At least your timing's good. The Met's coming to take you in. Oh, I am counting on it, love. Everyone freeze! Back away from her. Mary Kelly, you're under arrest. Take me in, Inspector. I throw myself on the mercy of the bleeding court. I don't plan on me staying around very long. You lot! I gave you purpose when this city spit you out! We'll be seeing each other again very soon. Stop! You don't think she's gonna let you scum take her white whale? Who are you protecting? The system or the people? Uh, promise us. Promise us. She won't go free. Can't promise that, Caitlin. Shoot the fucker. Go. I'll take care of this. There we go. Absolutely fucking smash that, mate. Nicely done. Well, Dead Sec, you got your wish. Mary won't be walking away. This is your first mission I went with you, fellow. I wanted to do and let me tell you, I enjoyed using that shotgun. I guess I couldn't let her live. She had it coming, Lau. And it's all she deserved. For the life she destroyed. For Angel. You did the right thing. I wish things could be done by the book, Caitlin. But they can't. That's why we're here. We did the right thing. I don't know. His name's fucking Ares as well. And he's an artist of war. What's that about? At least I didn't think it was when we started all of this. Well, the queen may be dead, but there are plenty of Tan Kelly peons willing to take up the mantle. You're right about that, Bagley. I will keep my ear to the ground. I hear about more Clan Kelly shenanigans, you'll be the first to know. You're good partners, Dead Sec. Let's keep it going. Very well. Very well. Big game hunter. Sorry, I need this bike. I do apologise. It is a nice bike. So I can have a look at this big game hunter over here, because that interests me.
Yeah. Very good, actually. Holy shit. And then there's this tinkerer over here. What's his story, Bags? He's certainly popular. Not only does he have an active arrest warrant, but the Kellys have a bounty on his head. Actually, that's the opposite of popular, isn't it? Impressive. <sighs> Wonder what it takes to make that many enemies. Good question. You could dig around and see what turns up. I don't wonder at all. I know what it takes. Right, let's go have a look at this tinkerer because this tinkerer has um, intrigued me as well. Whoa! Holy shit. Yep. That's two good recruits right there. He's got a grenade launcher. Right, let's have a look. Right, so the whistleblower. Let's have a look at that. What's that got to do with me? I mean us. Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeated over and over. S O S. S O. Wait for it. S. How did I know that? Drop a pin on the map for me, would you? Whereabouts is this out then? Ah, Frederick's near there. Very nice. Get to use the homie Frederick again with his silence pistol. I hope you're not doing anything important. Very good for stealth. I got you. Burn a kilometer. I'm here. What no? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Alright. Let's wait around then, Fred. Ringing phones always got to be answered. A flip phone. Well, this brings back memories. It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who the hell is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on SIRS, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. Loath as I am to say it. Dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. All right, we'll listen, but that's all for now. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Huh. Interesting. Bagley, Sabine, walk me through this. What do you think? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. Mm. All these were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signaled Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face. <laughs> And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. 
Tsars are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why call Oh, fuck. Off? When you meet this guy, ask. Uh, let's go have a look at this Damascus, whatever this is. Don't think I can break that. I don't think I can break that. Ooh. Oh, it's there. I'm an idiot. What is it? It's literally a knight's helmet. Ah, cool. Right, meet with the sirs contact. Oh, Aiden's right around the corner from it. Go on then. Go on then, Aiden. You're up. Good timing. Just lost a tail. Do you require support? Nah, they're long gone. Let's go. Indeed. Right. So how does one get in there? This is how. Okay. A man's not here. Signs of a struggle. Something happened. SIRS might be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. I'll see. No promises. There's no point in doing that. I didn't mean to activate block out. I didn't mean to activate a block out. That's done it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. Alright, let's have a loop. What have you got? CTOSAR. That appears to be our contact. Oh. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Well, that's an Albion car. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. He was shot with a rubber bullet, was he? CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Alright. Follow the AR vehicle. Need a vehicle of my own first. I'm not using that fucking scooter. If we got... I'll use this estate car here. I'll use this... Turn left. And it turned right. Turned left. And it turned right. Did it go from here? Oh, he turned left. Oh, he turned left. Left once more. Right. Yeah, like hello. Stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. Oh, they put them in the back of the van. 
took him out of that and put him in the van. Our contact assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. I would have expected sirs, not PMC. What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Well done. Funny. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. No, you don't. So my guess is Clan Kelly. They've given him to Clan Kelly. And, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Show me. I'm not who you think I am. You're mad, a sirs officer, and a leaky fucking twat. They didn't take him very fucking far, did they? for the kill. We don't have long. Bagley, get me a pin on that camera. Right. Do not Yeah, I know how to f I know how the fucking combat works. Why are you fucking telling me now? It's all good now, is it? Fucking, I don't know how many hours into this game, about five. That's like... F That's like telling you how to shoot five hours into a Call of Duty game. What the fuck? Alright, we need an access card. Hello. You're right. Ow. Dickhead. All right, where were we? FTP. They'll explain everything. Not good enough. Who are you? My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue sirs officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. We'll take a look at your data. Don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. Okay. Why can't you promise that? That's weird. Okay, but uh. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. Oh shit! Ah oh, yeah. Sorry, Jim. Shit, go. Donovan Green. Right, go. Let's get out of here. Guess we should take a look at his intel. All right, one second. Time for a team meeting, Bagley. Let's take a look at our guy's intel. So now what? You want him to come back to base, or...? Prefers bullets to bug spray. Interesting. Have a look at that. Could be doing some mass recruiting, my <laughs> off-camera guys. 
Espionage 101 mission started. Turn the team briefing. Genuinely dangerous. We should walk away. No way. No. Needs our help. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arsehole that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Good call. All right. And we're Bagley on that one. Fucking hell. Does prefer bullets to bug spray. Holy shit. How many people do I need to recruit off camera? Yeah, let me just go through these and make sure everyone's right. Yes. 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 Mm. No. No, but I'm going to keep you in there just in case. Yes. You're just in case. No, you're just in case. Should I... You've got legasm you need, though, haven't you? That's pretty cool. Just a shame you don't come with a firearm. See, this is one issue I had with this game. Like, you see here with Billy, for example, you see there how he's got the grenade launcher, the Desert Eagle, and the shock hack. I'd have loved it if in this game they had the feature where you could just say, for example, here you look at Ares, he has four things. So if there's three slots available, you could put something there, spend some ETO or something, or a different currency, to buy an ability to put there, whether that be a vehicle, whether that be a weapon, whether that be something as simple as being a better patient and being released from hospital earlier, that would have made this game a lot better. But unfortunately, this game just... It, it's... It, it doesn't feel like a Watch Dogs game, if you know what I mean. It just doesn't really have the charm that Watch Dogs 1 and Watch Dogs 2 had. But all in all, this game, I like the idea of recruiting anybody. You know, anybody you can see, you can recruit them. It's a bit like Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War, you know, where you can recruit the orcs and make them fight for you and make them fight other orcs and things like that. But this isn't done as well. Because when this game came out, I remember this game had so many bugs and glitches, as is Ubisoft. Do you know what I mean? But all in all, I, I'm going to be honest... I quite liked this game's story. You know, I liked the story with Sky Larson and, you know, the science behind her, you know, actually working on people's brains as if they were machines and turning them into AI. It was really twisted and, like, I just enjoyed that. It's the very dark and twisted stories that Watch Dogs, ten that Watch Dogs tends to have. Like in Watch Dogs 1 with the slave market and the serial killer and all of that stuff. And there was also a, a slave market in this as well with Mary Kelly. But yeah, it's... All in all, th this game, as far as Watch Dogs goes, it's the worst in the series. But I guess if you're a fan of Watch Dogs, play it. But I wouldn't recommend paying more than 10 quid for this game. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I fucking pre-ordered this game as well, which just made it... Worse, because I really enjoyed Watch Dogs 1 and 2, and I know a lot of people didn't. A lot of people found this series disappointing, and I see where they're coming from, but I enjoyed Aidan Pierce as a character, and I liked Marcus Holloway. Um, but this game just didn't really have a character for you to get attached to, because obviously you can play as whoever you like. I mean, you can play go through the entire game as the same character if you liked, but there's not really much point to that. Because then you're not playing the game how it's supposed to be played. So there isn't really anyone you can get attached to. Besides maybe Wrench and Aiden. Because you're already attached to these characters from the previous games. And if you play on permadeath. It's, and you play it on hardest difficulty on permadeath. It adds a really nice difficulty to the game. You know it makes it incredibly hard. And the fact of how if people die that's it. But yeah. 
that's all I really have to say at the moment. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in a bit.